Hello everyone. Uh, like the name suggests, this video is going to be about comparing two very, very, very similar scopes. Uh, on the left hand side, we have Miopta Miostar 1.7 to 10 by 42. And on the right hand side, we have Swarovski Z6i 1.7 to 10 by 42. Uh, disclaimer, I am not affiliated or associated to any of the brands Miyapta or Swarovski. Both of these scopes have been bought by my own hard earned money. So my views and my opinions are my opinions and what I found how these scopes performed in the field or at the range. Uh, this video might break a lot of hearts. A lot of Swarovski fans will be uh, disappointed by this video. And on the other hand, a lot of people who trusted or who like Miapta as a brand and their products will feel really good about this video. So if you are one of the guys who doesn't want to, you know, feel disappointed about spending this much money on a Z6i, you can, you know, uh, turn off the video right now. <laughs> so, Sorry, I was not trying to be rude. It's just that I don't want any comments where people are just going to say, hey, Swarovski costs more, so it is better. So we'll, we'll compare these scopes and we'll come to the price point. And I'm not saying at this point that which scope is better than the other. It's just that we have to look at features, price, and value for money and what is overkill and what is uh, sufficient or more than sufficient to get the job done. So we'll cover a lot of bases. So let's start. Uh, we all are aware of Swarovski is a very, very well renowned kind of a luxury or, you know, luxury brand or kind of Ferrari or you can say uh, Bugatti or Rolls Royce of rifle scopes. And on the left-hand side, Miapta, I will compare this to, uh, you can say, the Lexus, right? Maybe the Lexus or I don't know, a luxury brand that gives you value, of, value for money and a lot of quality and reliability at the same time. So let's start. Uh, comparing these scopes for specs, you know, specifications. Uh, Miapta around 20 ounces, Swarovski 17 ounces, Miapta is a little bit shorter by half inch, 13 inches, and then 13 and a half inches for Swarovski. Magnification wise, they are similar 1.7 to 10, 1.7 to 10, 42 millimeter, 42 millimeter. Uh, adjustments, uh, 0.36, of an inch and 0.25 of an inch per click. Both are second focal planes. Uh, exit pupil, maximum exit pupil is 11, minimum is 4.2. Here, uh, maximum exit pupil, uh, uh, where I'm looking at, it's not mentioned, oh there, 9.6 and 4.2. Uh, both of them are eliminated. Eye relief 3.7 to 3.9 and here the eye relief is 95 millimeter. I think that comes to 3.7 inches. So Miapta does have a little bit more eye relief. Uh, let's see, field of view. Uh, Okay, field of view, I was looking at Euro Optics 
website. Uh, I thought there would be field of view mentioned here, but they have mentioned it for, okay, found it, found it. Sorry about that. So around 66 feet and 75 feet at the lowest magnification at 100 yards. I would say uh, it sounds more on the paper, but in actual use, uh, if you're comparing them side by side, <coughs> excuse me, so you might be able to tell the difference, but if you are looking at one of the scope, you know, and you don't have the other one to compare, you cannot tell the difference, at least practically, you know. Uh, the difference is there, but it doesn't make that much difference. Uh, light transmission wise, Swarovski is 90% light transmission and Miyapta is 94 to 92% light transmission. Price, $1,479 MSRP and $2,400 MSRP. $1,000 difference. You can get 10% discount if you pay cash, usually, uh, it, at any of the Swarovski dealers. Uh, and then, Miyapta I've seen anywhere as low as 1050 and all the way up to 1250 1250 is these days, you know, with availability and all that, but usually I've seen them as close to 1050 or $1,100, you know. So, all right. So now, let's compare the glass. So, you know, five, six years ago when I was going to buy this Roski Z6i, I called a couple of dealers, uh, Euro Optics, uh, Camera Land, and I asked them, I want a lightweight scope for a lightweight rifle because I have a couple of uh, Saku 85 fin lights, so I wanted to put a lightweight scope on it. And I wanted to have like a wider zoom ratio. So 6x was, you know, quite common at that time. So surprisingly, uh, Euro Optics and Camera Land, they suggested me to go with Miopta Mio Miostar R2 1.7 to 10. And then when I asked them, hey, I want the best scope possible, and they said, okay, then you can buy Victory HT. At that time, Victory HT was very popular. Or Z6i, same, 1.7 to 10, the scope that's on the right-hand side. So because I never saw any reviews or heard anything about Miapta at that time, I just went with Frosky Z6i. And I'm, I'm not disappointed. I was not disappointed then, I'm not disappointed now. But a few months ago, like six, seven months ago, I wanted to buy another lightweight rifle scope. And always, you know, I always thought that, you know, I spent uh, 20, at that time the scope was a little bit more expensive, like 2,500 ish. So I spent $2,500, but I was not happy with the radical. The radical was too thin to an extent that uh, if you don't turn on the illumination, the radical, the crosshair gets lost. So especially in, you know, darker conditions, that radical got lost in the trees. You know how we have vertical lines for trees and bushes, you know, when it gets dark, everything is gray. And this radical for Swarovski Z6i, I was not happy with the radical. <clears throat> Brightness wise, I would say, you know, uh, it happened to me once that I could see the deer uh, through my binoculars, like uh, around, it was, I think, five minutes past the legal light. I could see the deer through my binoculars, but not through this rifle scope. So I was a little disappointed because my 
binocular was an 8 by 32 and I thought the Swarovski which, which was you know that which was rated at what 87 percent light transmission and Swarovski which is rated at 90 percent light transmission I could not see the deer at any magnification regardless so long story short so I wanted to give a try to a different rifle scope so I looked at a couple of them uh, loophole v6 Zeiss v6 and uh, I also look, looked at Leica 1.7 or 1.5 to 10 and I I can say here that okay I'm not familiar with their customer service or quality because I've not used that scope but when I looked through Leica in the store at your optics I took it out and spent like five ten minutes with it uh, actually the picture quality and the field of view is better than Swarovski Z6i for a couple hundred dollars less. I was surprised by that. But I didn't want it to, like I said, I didn't want it to spend that much money again. And so I was like, okay, I will either try Zeiss V6 or Miyapta Mustar. Zeiss was more expensive than the Miyapta. So I was like, okay, you know, uh, I will give a try to Miyapta because, you know, I was suggested five years ago. And even now, if you call Doug at Camera Land and even at Eurooptics, they will still, still suggest you Miyapta Mustar scopes. And in Europe, these scopes are quite popular. Uh, so what stands out in this scope? So I've compared these two rifle scopes at length early in the morning daytime when it's bright late in the night during day you can see a little bit of difference between these two scopes uh, the difference is that miyapta has very 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 slightly warmer tone and higher contrast and then Swarovski has little bit of bluish tone which makes the picture look slightly whiter and you think it's brighter but at that bright you know bright sunlight I don't think so it is brighter or it does matter at that point but what was shocking to me was that in the dark hours I was surprised how bright Miyapta Miostar R2 was. Uh, so we buy rifle scopes, you know, according to few criteria, right? I think for hunters, the most important criteria is reliability and brightness. Then comes magnification and wide field of view. So if you look at these two scopes, Everything else is very, very similar. Same size, same weight. Miyapta has slightly, uh, slightly, uh, you can say, slightly less field of view, which is not noticeable. But it does have quarter of an inch more eye relief, which is very noticeable. And I'll show you how, you know, like I will show you right now in the videos. So, in the dark, dark hours, right, very, very late in the day, you know, dusk and dawn time, way past the legal light, I could see the targets at the range with both of the scopes. Like, I'm talking about 10, 15, 20 minutes past the legal light. So... I'm just thinking, so where did I pay a thousand dollar extra? Yes, there are a few features that Swarovski Z6i has that Miyapta Miostar does not have. Now, you can, you can be the judge whether those features are worth thousand dollars to you. They are not to me. 
let's look at them. Illumination. This has eight settings. These are 64 settings. But honestly, the eight settings that we have on, on MioStar, they are more than sufficient to work in any light condition. Swarovski has 64 settings, but I don't even mess with it. I rarely turn the illumination on. Swarovski has a ballistic turret, and uh, I, I did get a ballistic turret with MioStar as well, uh, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, aesthetically, it's a choice. To me, for some reason, to have nothing on the ocular, uh, it feels a cleaner design. With Rosky, too much, too much is going on here, and the turrets are quite high. Uh, Mustar has very low turrets, and uh, they are very similar. We'll we'll go through each scope in detail in a few minutes. So the thousand dollar difference is, I think, is only in the illumination. I will not pay for $1,000 for that illumination again, illumination again. That's my thought. Brightness wise, they are very similar. The 4AI reticle, which is my favorite reticle in Swarovski line, is the same as the 4C reticle in Miyapta. Now, mind it, this scope here is a 4K reticle. Uh, when I bought this scope, 4C was not available, but I'm going to order another scope, uh, another same scope. Uh, with the 4K, 4C reticle, which is, uh, which I prefer. I might, I might put this uh, scope on another rifle. All right, so let's go through both of the scopes one by one. And I will just, basically, I will just uh, give you a close up of each scope. And uh, then we'll talk uh, more about uh, what you can, uh, you know, conclude out of this. Uh, video. All right, so this is the Swarovski Z6i 1.7 to 10 by 42 illuminated ballistic turret. You can see how tall the turrets are. 42 millimeter objective. Mind this, this is soft rubber. Okay, we'll compare this to Miyapta R2. And let's see if we can look at the radical. Come on. There. Yeah, you can have an idea about the reticle right there. Okay, I'll put this away. This is the Miyapta Miostar R2. Notice that there is so much eye relief that I had to put the scope all the way to the front. And look at this, all aluminum. The only rubber part is this ring right here. And I think this is necessary in case you, you know, get a scope cut on your eyebrow. This will, you know, mitigate it at least, you know. So there, if you can see the reticle is very, very similar. Oh, I'll turn the reticle on. Still not there. Let's see. Maybe I should, you know, you can look at online pictures of the reticle. It basically it will show you like a plus illuminated plus symbol. Okay? It looks a little bit big here, but it's in 
real life it's very very thin very very fine and and these are the turrets listen to them very very positive clicks very very solid this scope is it feels more rugged than frosky for sure i think that's where the three ounce weight goes so it's a little bit better not better i would say a little bit heavier built than frosky now let's listen to frosky turrets and mind it these these uh turrets i would say feel weaker listen to them you barely listen to them you can barely listen to them Miapta is like so crisp all right now notice one thing i put swarovski on my 22 lr and yapped on my actual hunting rifle this is uh sako or seiko however you want to call it sako 85 uh this is black synthetic which is basically a fin light and it is i think coated or blued whatever so i trust miyapta miostar r2 as much as i trust roski so that's why it is on my hunting rifle and this is just a plinking rifle on the range uh, not to say that this scope is bad or i don't trust it it's just that i trust this scope as much as uh, the Swarovski. So the conclusion of this video. So the conclusion of this video is that if you want to buy a luxury item, uh, something that you know, uh, like like not in fancy channel says second kind of coal, which means it might not be functionally better, but something that you want to buy or you know you are a fan of something or you really want something so this scope is second kind of cool which means it will get the job done and it is kind of a novelty or luxury item uh, this scope is not better or brighter than mio star you can hunt in any light condition with mio star and as reliably as with this scope. So the thousand dollar difference, if it was me again, I will not buy a Z6i ever again. And uh, I will buy two of these scopes rather. For thousand dollar, you can buy a suppressor. For a thousand dollar, you can buy a uh, a bipod you can buy a carbon fiber stock uh, you can buy it like 300 like you know even if you even if you don't put a stock or anything you can for thousand dollar you can buy a thousand round of you know hunting ammunition you can buy uh, a lot of nice gear like hunting gear you can buy you know sitka gear you know hunting clothing anything like i'm just giving examples what you can do you can you can even pay that thousand dollars for taxidermy right so if this scope can go way past the legal light what what more do you want from a scope you know you're not taking pictures if you if you if you are taking pictures then i will say okay yes you know buy whatever the most expensive scope if you're a professional photographer and you want to have the best picture just to hunt deer or any other big game big game animal uh, once you see the animal through the scope and you can you know put a crosshair on it in the in dark hours whatever the, and just pull the trigger and the job is done you know 